I got him. Oh my god. Look at him slither. He's slithering right back in the water. Look at this. That is like almost the holy grail of tangs right there. We have officially bought the very first exotic fish for our saltwater pond. What is going on my fellow fish guys and girls? Fish Guy Jack here back with another video. We are starting this video in the truck today because it's 49 degrees here in South Florida. But the beauty of it all is, is we got blue skies and it's absolutely stunning out. Yesterday was my birthday, celebrated 22 years, and it was an unbelievable day. I had an awesome time, but today we're back on the horse, baby. It's early in the morning and I wanna spend my day doing the things I love most, and that is fishing. We're gonna head over to Seven Seas Bait and Tackle right now to pick up a bunch of shiners and we're gonna go chase some big exotic fish in some freshwater areas you guys love when I do this and as you all know recently we lost the biggest peacock bass inside of our 4,000 gallon pond and today starts the mission of catching a new peacock bass for that pond. I've got high expectations for this fish. This fish has to be eight pounds or bigger. So today we might be able to make it happen, but if not, regardless, we're still going to get a fish for the saltwater pond, you guys. So let's head to the shop now. Let's go pick up some shiners and let's get to fishing. And just like that, we got a dozen and a half live shiners right here. These things are freshwater fish candy. We're chasing a big old peacock bass that hopefully we can put inside the pond. And then as you all know from the title and thumbnail, we're gonna head to some fish stores and we're gonna buy an awesome fish for the saltwater pond. Let's take these guys, put them in the truck here. You gotta always keep your baits in the front seat, just like that. Make sure you put a towel down, you guys. Just a little tip from Fish Guy Jack, I've been doing this for about seven years now. So uh, yeah, put it way up against the thing, take your chair, scoot that bad boy all the way up. That way your bucket stays nice and snug. Now guys, it's time to go fishing. A little chilly out here, but I think the fish are gonna be biting. Let's do it. No, it's cold when you gotta break out the boots with the fuzzy socks right here. Thank you uh, to Brooke for the fuzzy socks. These are coming in clutch. So are the brand new boots for the birthday. We got the pants, we got the windbreaker, and we got the hoodie. We're here at the spot. We gotta rig up and catch some fish. Now these videos right here really are some of my favorite to film. When I start my day bright and early, take the camera along with me, take you guys along with me, and I just take you through my day. We're gonna go from fishing to a couple of fish stores, back to the house with a brand new fish, baby. I just hope we can kick this video off with a big, all exotic fish. One big thing, I wanna kinda make my videos a bit longer for you guys, so you know what, we can grow that deeper connection, guys. Now we're gonna go over to a super shallow spot here first because when it's cold like this, these fish should be sitting up on top in the shallow water, soaking in the sun, trying to get warm. So right over here, we should be able to find a big fish, and if not, we'll move along. But like I was saying this year, I wanna try and give you guys a little bit more of a variety. Of course, lots of aquarium stuff and I wanna mix in some fishing. Okay guys, we're here. Super shallow area and they're moving around. They're moving around right here. This ain't a largemouth bass. This ain't a peacock bass, but this is a snakehead. You gotta stay far back here, make a good cast. Gonna have to make a better cast than that, Jack. Oh, he's, he's looking for it. He is looking for it, you guys. You guys, he's all over it. Oh. My. God. Hold on tight here, guys. That was a big snakehead, about a six pounder, sitting in the shallow, but you know what? Typically, you gotta fish a topwater frog for those. And right now, we just have a bucket of live shiners. Fish, there we go. First one of the day. Oh, there we go. All right, broke the skunk there, folks. Largemouth bass. All right, there we have it, the first fish of the day. Actually, my first fish of being 22 years old, believe it or not, is a beautiful largemouth bass. Now, this guy clearly doesn't have the size, but let me tell you what, this fish is cold. This water must be really cold. I switched things up, I fished a smaller bait, and this guy sucked it down. A really beautiful fish, Florida largemouth bass. I mean, these things I've caught as big as like 11 pounds. And those are the ones we're chasing today, but you know what? We'll take this, we gotta work our way up today. Let's get this guy back in the water. Now that fish came on the smallest shiner I had in the bucket. So that's telling me, listen, the water's not warm, the water is cold, and they don't think they want to chase down a big bait. They're a little bit slower right now since the temperature is cold. So we're going to be fishing these little baits and I think we'll have a successful day. There he is. Ugh. 
There's another fish on, baby. Gotta love it. Ooh, that's bigger. Oh my God. That's, that's substantially bigger than the last one. Look at that. Look at the mouth on that. Ladies and gents, check out the mouth on that one right there. This one, I would say, quadruples the size of the last one. If our last one was about a half a pound, this one's probably about two and a half pounds right there. You can tell just by looking at the mouth that this fish right here has a substantial more amount of size. Now, these are native fish here. These fish are used to the cold. That is why I think we might only be catching these. The more exotic ones like the peacock bass and the snakeheads, they're not used to this cold water and they do not like it whatsoever. But hey, if we can keep upgrading like we're doing now, it's gonna be a great day, baby. This is how I like to spend my birthday weekend. Let's get this guy back in the water. This fish is back. It's a great cast. I got him. I got him. Oh my God. No way. I was stuck in the tree. Oh my God, this thing's huge. No. He came off. Are you kidding me? How the heck did he come off? We were in this area earlier this morning. We saw those two big snake heads. They spooked. I let them kind of chill for a little bit. I went and fished the other canal and then we came back and he was right back where he was. I fired a bait at him and he crushed it. I don't know how we lost it. We had a good hook in him. He was running around and you know what? We pulled the hook. God, that was what I wanted to show you guys today. It was a big snake head and that was it. That was six pounds. Got him. Got him. Yeah. We're on to something now, baby. We are on to something now. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Death rolling right there. Oh my God, you guys. This one's probably maybe two, three pounds, but the one before <laughs> wasn't even funny how much bigger he was. What a great fish though. Solid, pretty dang big. Got him. Oh yeah. There he is right there, the snakehead. Bullseye snakehead, guys. When I tell you the last one that I hooked, you guys saw the difference in the fight. The other one really ran around. This one's still probably about two, maybe three pounds right there. Check out the dot on the tail right there. The bullseye snakehead. I would say he's about two foot long. I'm super happy I got to show you guys one of these. And I'll tell you what, I'm having a great first day of being 22 years old. Now let me show you guys something really cool. I'm gonna show you guys how this fish right here gets his name, watch this. Ready? Look at him slither. He's slithering right back in the water. Look at this. He's got his head in a little. Go ahead, buddy. There he goes. Right back in the same body of water I caught him in. Look at that thing. Epic. That's an awesome fish right there. Good size snake head. We just caught him right out of this body of water, so it's totally legal for me to release it straight back into the same body I caught him in. I can't go take that fish and introduce it into a new body of water, but I can catch and release straight back where I caught him. Now that's gonna do it for the morning fishing part of this video. Now I'm gonna throw you guys back to yesterday when I was getting ready to go get this fish for the pond. Now I went to a fish store first before I went to the one that actually has the fish for me. And I'm gonna show you guys what they had there. And then I'm gonna pick back up and you guys are gonna be with me at the store getting our fish, you guys. Let's do it. It is go time, baby. We're gonna be getting the first official fish that will be going inside of the saltwater pond that's right behind me now. As you guys can see, this one is only two foot tall, and the new one we're getting is gonna be three feet tall, baby. We're going a little bit bigger. As you guys can see from the wind, we have a big cold front coming through, and it's gonna be 40 degrees tomorrow morning. Now, that's a big reason why I am making sure we get insulation. There's gonna be about a three or four inch thick insulation around the whole entire pond to ensure that the heat and the cold are not gonna affect the temperature of the pond. I've been in contact with them. Things got a little bit slower because of the holidays, but you guys, we're heading to the fish store now. We're gonna go see what fish they have for us, baby. I'm looking forward to it. I apologize in advance if it is a little bit loud in here. All the filters are running, but take a look right here. Beautiful school of moon fish right there. I think I definitely wanna get a couple of those guys for the saltwater pond, but maybe just a little bit bigger. Those guys are super cool though. We got a beautiful eel right here. Oh, it is a Skeletor eel. $700 for that guy. Brown and white spots. Cool looking eel right there. The seahorses right there. What, one, two, three, four, five, like eight of them inside inside this tank here. Cool little bio cube. And I think I do want to set up a bio cube here soon. Probably get an octopus inside. If you think I should do that, leave a like on the video. It's always fun coming in here, looking at all the variety. It's not something I do a lot on the channel. And I think I'm going to start doing more of. Just coming, 
bouncing around fish stores and looking at the variety they have to offer. Holy cow, you guys, purple tang right here. Look at that fish, a really good size, about a fist size. That is like almost the holy grail of tangs right there, and that is a big one. $300, but look at the fish you're getting right there. Now with this saltwater pond, I need to really be strategic as to what fish I add first. If I go ahead and add a big grouper first, and then I try and put an angelfish in there, yeah, it's not gonna happen. So we gotta put the more calm fish in first, let them get their groups, and then slowly work our way to the sharks and the groupers and all that stuff. Alrighty, day two of fish shopping, and we have made it to our first store of the day. Hopefully our only store of the day, ladies and gents. Let's head inside and see what they got. What an awesome selection of fish they had inside here. A bunch of angel fish, exactly what I was looking for. Now there was one I had my eye on in particular, which was the emperor angel, but he looked like he was maybe a little sick. The guy said he just came in and he would hold off on him for now. But there was a beautiful blue face inside there. And then there was a all yellow flag fin. All those angel fish that I was looking at all get 10 inches or larger and i went ahead and i got that yellow one he's about five and a half inches he's gonna grow and be really big this is an awesome fish and i'm gonna show you guys when we get back at the house we have officially bought the very first exotic fish for our saltwater pond so now inside this bag here we have a flag fin angel fish about five and a half inches and this is gonna be the very first fish that we put inside of the saltwater pond now obviously i'm not adding any fish to the pond right behind me as we wait for our fresh one and new one to be built. In the meantime, I'm gonna put this guy inside in a 125. But all of these fish that I am gonna be getting at first are going to be added into the pond. First, because we want our more peaceful fish to go in first so they can kind of claim their territory before we go ahead and put some groupers and sharks inside here. But this fish right here is absolutely stunning, really healthy, extremely fat, and just an overall beautiful fish. This fish has been acclimating now for about an hour and he is ready to go. Now, if you will turn around here for a second, you're gonna see some, some extremely purple lips. There they are right there. Let's get a sick name for this guy down below in the comment section because he is going to be a staple in that saltwater pond once it's set up. We got him in the net. <sighs> Let's go ahead. Let's get him inside of the aquarium, baby. Go on, dude. Let's go. Oh my God. He looks so good. Look at that fish right there. Now we can really get a good look at him and see those bright blue lips. Imagine that fish darting around inside of the saltwater pond. He's going to stick out like a sore thumb inside there. A literal banana or a lemon swimming around. To put in representation, this fish right here is about five inches and our brand new angel fish is about the same exact size. For the time being, he's going to stay inside this tank until we get the saltwater pond up and running. I'm doing my best to get this thing as fast as possible, but you know what? We're working around holidays and I'm just, I'm doing my best. I'm doing what I can. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Comment down a name for him down below in the comment section and we'll be naming him in the next video. I love you all so much. I'll catch you all in the next Next video, be sure to go check out shopfishguide.com. Use my code fishguyjack to save you 10%. Catch you all in the next video. Peace out.